So, we've all seen the movies, the super spy tracked in real time by satellites, but how much of that is real and how much is Hollywood? Today, we're pulling back the curtain on 10 types of satellite systems and how they can be used or misused for tracking. This isn't a hacker's guide, but an eye-opener about the real privacy risks, which often start with the device in your pocket, not the satellite overhead. We'll break down how these systems work, where the vulnerabilities are, and what you can do to protect your privacy. From GPS to high-tech spy satellites, the infrastructure for global tracking is already in place, and sometimes more accessible than you think. By the end, you'll know where the real threats lie and how to build a better digital defense. Let's get started. First up, GPS. It's everywhere. Your phone, your car, your watch. GPS satellites aren't tracking you, they're just broadcasting signals. Your device does the listening and calculating. The real risk? the apps and software on your device that access your location data. Hackers don't need to breach satellites, they target your phone, often through malicious apps that quietly send your location to remote servers. Even innocent-seeming apps can leak your data if permissions are too broad or security is weak. Then, there's GPS spoofing. Attackers can broadcast fake signals to trick your device into reporting a false location, while rare, it's a real threat for navigation systems and can be used to manipulate or mislead. The defense isn't blocking satellites, it's securing your device, managing app permissions and keeping software updated. Remember, the most powerful tracking tool is often the compromised app you installed yourself. Be vigilant about what you download and what permissions you grant. Your device is the real gateway for GPS tracking. Stay updated, stay cautious, that's your first line of defense. GLONASS is Russia's version of GPS, with its own constellation of satellites. Most modern devices use both GPS and GLONASS for faster, more accurate positioning. For hackers, it doesn't matter which system your phone uses, location data is location data. The real vulnerability is still your device and the apps you trust. More systems mean more precise data, which can be a bigger privacy risk if your device is compromised. While state-level actors might exploit rare chipset vulnerabilities, for most people the risk is still malware or poorly secured apps. GLONASS boosts accuracy, but doesn't change the core privacy challenge. Focus on securing your phone, not worrying about which satellites it's using. The more systems your device can access, the more precise and potentially more valuable the data that could leak. It's all about endpoint security. Protect your device, protect your data. Galileo is Europe's answer to GPS, offering even higher accuracy, down to centimeters, its signals are authenticated and encrypted, making them harder to spoof, that's great for security, but if your device is compromised, the data is even more precise and more valuable to attackers. Galileo's tech makes outside attacks tougher, but it can't protect you from malware or phishing on your phone. The pipe is more secure, but if someone taps your faucet, the water is purer and more revealing. High precision leaks mean more detailed tracking of your movements and habits. The lesson, even with advanced systems, your privacy depends on your device's security. Galileo raises the stakes, protect your phone, and you protect your location. Stronger signals, higher risks if breached. The responsibility is still yours. Stay vigilant. Beidou is China's massive navigation system, now global and with more satellites than any other. Most new devices can receive Beidou signals alongside GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo. What's unique? Beidou's two-way messaging, authorized users can send short messages via satellite, even without cell service. This is powerful for emergencies, but it also means your device can transmit as well as receive. That opens new, though rare, attack possibilities, like intercepting or spoofing messages. For most users, the risk is still about device security, not satellite hacking. Beidou's architecture shows how satellite systems are evolving, creating more data and more potential vulnerabilities. The main threat remains a compromised phone. More satellites mean better accuracy and more data to protect. As always, your device is the real target. Secure it. Iridium is a global satellite phone network, 66 satellites providing voice and data anywhere on Earth. Unlike navigation satellites, Iridium is a two-way system. Your phone connects to a satellite which knows your general location. This isn't pinpoint tracking, but it does create a digital trail. 
the real risk is in the ground infrastructure, databases storing call records and registration info. If those are breached, attackers could access historical or near real-time location data. Calls are encrypted, but metadata, who, when, and roughly where, can still be exposed. Satellite phones are vital for remote areas but they're not invisible. Using one leaves a footprint, just like a cell phone. Understand the trade-off. Connectivity comes with traceability. Stay aware. Now, the stuff of spy movies. Government-operated spy satellites. These are high-resolution cameras and sensors in orbit, run by intelligence agencies, not accessible to hackers or the public. The real risk isn't hackers using these satellites, but governments misusing them for surveillance or data leaks from massive archives. Spy satellites can also intercept electronic signals, adding another layer of surveillance. The threat to ordinary people is indirect, policy, oversight, and data security matter most. If data leaks or is misused, privacy can be compromised on a massive scale. These tools are the pinnacle of surveillance, but far out of reach for anyone but superpowers. The safeguards are legal and procedural, not technical. Be aware this technology exists, but focus your privacy efforts elsewhere. The real danger is in how the data is handled, not in the satellites themselves. Weather satellites do more than forecast storms, they also support search and rescue. Many carry instruments for the Kospis Sarsat system, detecting emergency beacons from ships, planes, and individuals. When a beacon is activated, satellites locate it and help coordinate rescue. The system is designed to save lives, not track people. The hacker angle, spoofing emergency signals to trigger false alarms or mislead responders. This is rare, illegal, and not a way to track individuals, but it shows how any system can be exploited. The vulnerability is in the emergency beacon protocol, not the weather satellites. It's a reminder, even life-saving tech can be manipulated. Trust, but verify. Communication satellites are the backbone of global data, TV, internet, secure links. They simply relay data, but if your data isn't encrypted, it's vulnerable to interception by anyone with the right equipment. Encryption is your shield. Weak or outdated protocols can be broken exposing sensitive info. Another risk ground terminals emit signals that can be detected and located, revealing your position. This is mostly a concern for military or high-value targets, but it's a reminder that transmitting data can expose your location. For most users, services like Starlink encrypt data by default. Still, always use secure protocols, HTTPS, VPNs, just as you would on any network. The satellite is just a pipe. Your security depends on what you send through it. Protect your data. Protect your location. Encryption is non-negotiable. Remote sensing satellites observe Earth with powerful sensors, imaging radar thermal. Once the domain of governments, now anyone can buy high-res satellite imagery. Tracking isn't real-time, but by analyzing images over days or weeks, you can spot patterns, cars construction activity. This pattern of life analysis can reveal habits, business secrets, or group movements. SAR satellites can see through clouds and at night, making surveillance persistent. The cost is dropping, and access is growing. What was once spy tech is now commercial. It's a tool for good, disaster response environmental monitoring, but also for surveillance. Anyone with the budget can track activities from space. The line between transparency and privacy is blurring. Be aware, your world is more visible than ever. CubeSats are tiny, cheap satellites. Anyone from universities to startups can launch them. This democratizes space, but also opens new doors for surveillance. Swarms of CubeSats can carry cameras or sensors to map RF signals, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth activity globally. Frequent or persistent coverage is possible with enough satellites. The tech exists, and regulations are struggling to keep up. Passive sensing, just listening, is a gray area, making oversight tricky. Private actors could launch surveillance constellations with little restriction. This is the ultimate hacker tool, cheap, accessible, and powerful. The risk? Persistent, low-cost surveillance as a commercial service before laws catch up. The future of privacy in space is still unwritten. After all this, the main takeaway is clear. The biggest threat to your privacy isn't a satellite, it's your own device. Your security is an endpoint problem. Strong passwords, updated apps, and careful permissions are your best defense. Satellites provide the data, but your device gives it away. 
Be smart about what you install and what you share, protect your device, and you protect yourself. If you found this helpful, like and share. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.